Hey guys, this is Jay back again. I'm sorry, last video, uh, my memory card popped up saying that it was full, so I had to delete some stuff off the off the camera in order to record the rest of this video. Now, I've already mixed in all of the silicate solution, and it's for it's almost completely dissolved up there. I've just about got it to where it's where it's got the clear look to it. And then when it runs off, let's see if it's there yet. Now I gotta cook it for a little bit longer. But whenever it drips off, it you should get a teardrop off of it where it starts. Let's see if it'll do it this time. No, it's not freezing up, so I need to cook it for a little longer. But there's other videos on, on making sodium silicate and they go they go farther into depth than in making it. This is a little bit harder way than working in a in a little bit of a lab with a Bunsen burner or with Pyrex. So this takes longer, involves a lot more manual labor as far as stirring and everything like that. It's so much easier doing it in a lab with a vent hood and everything. So I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna pour the mixture into my jar and and I'll be done. I just gotta let this cook a little bit longer, bring it up to a boil, and then once it starts starts solidifying it on the end of my utensil, then I'll know that it is ready. Alright, so this is Jay signing off. Later, later.